All right. Uh, let's continue. Those quests are usually three parts. Uh, and story. Oh no, that that's the part. So if this does end now, I'll probably do the event before continuing. Oh, lagging. Uh, uh, anything here? That's a uh, shield of Narcissus. Still like some sort of seal. Uh, the name does fit our adventure up to now. Uh, this is the center of the world. The castle where the dragon lurks. The tower that imprisons the princess. Sometimes it is the lost ancient city of Eth. Sometimes Arcadia. At times it is even golden... Hyperborea, that's a cool name. Here many untrodden realms have been conquered, here many heroes have defeated evil dragons. Hmm? This is a place that brims with magic, and I was never really able to understand it. Children could see through a stone wall, the imaginary griffins that were free in the distant cloud-filled skies. These four pools would, in different adventure tales, be the four seas and sometimes the four carnal realms of the world. I could not understand these things either, but to accompany the children on their adventures, I played all, sort of, all sorts of roles. Are there more of those suddenly emerging memories? Yes. Uh, and are you alright? I don't know, I feel very strange. These memories are so beautiful, but terrifying too. Oh, huh, a simple sword. No, is this one black? Uh, look there, atop the small fountain. That is the holy blade of Narcissus Kreutz. Is it really? It looks uh, kind of cheap. Behold, Paimon, the holy blade. It's like that time with the sword of brilliant valor. The name is familiar, but I don't really... That's not the name of the base sword, is it? Okay, okay, Paimon gets it. It is the tail behind the blade, and one's belief in it that makes it a holy blade, right? With this sword in hand, Paimon bets the kids sure felt like invisible heroes. Ready to take to the skies and do battle with their enemies, huh? Appropriately shaped branches and drying poles could also in the right tail be the holy blade but she one day a certain woman brought several wooden swords for the children to play with so that the drying poles could stop being used in fights and who was that i do not know it must have been someone who once lived here yeah it does seem like the kingdom was once a lively place with all sorts of people in it. When do you think about it, about it like that, the holy blade must be very important. Normal sword can cleave flesh, but the holy blade can cleave spirit and will. As such, even previous dragons and formless illusions are no match for it. If the story of our adventure team is to reach its end, we will need the blade. Is it really that powerful? It just looks like a cheap wooden sword. That looks... That's made of wood. Just... Take the its holiness at face value. Sure, if you say so. But it doesn't look like I can reach right now. 
Let's continue exploring. Maybe we'll find some way to break this magical bubble. Uh, let's continue on. Princess Lear is still waiting. No, no, no. The weapons. What the way just Silver Surge. And Dull Blade. Yeah, that's the one the traveler is always using. Hmm. Um, Oh, yeah, I don't remember. I don't think it's an actual search. It's probably from some tale. From so long ago that I don't remember. You and I already I've forgot what was the word she said. I just tell it like it is. If someone can. And shroud. Sir. Huh. Uh, I'm supposed to go there. Ah, it is the only path. Huh, too slow. Huh. Come on, that's not cool. I'm missing a lot of rooms. What if there was a chest around there? <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> Can't see. This is for the ultimate right here. La la la. I just find out all that. Swan Fury! Unnecessary. Over formation, or will there be oh. too slow? Actually, why is there a bubble formation here too? Was this meant to prevent invaders from kidnapping the princess? Yes, that is the case. Also, we ran in some enemies earlier. Didn't you say that when Princess Lyris gave her, you her treasure, the terror stagnated and even her scissors could not enter? There's a lot of stuff here that doesn't make sense. What's going on? I don't know either. I've never thought about what will happen after we enter the tower. Also, this place feels very strange. I don't understand. I should never have been here before, but I find myself recalling feeling many things. Feeling many things. Do you, f do you still not feel it? No. Is Anne the princess? Mm, Paimon doesn't either. Hmm. Well, do you know what place this is, Anne? This was the assembly hall of the Narcissan Crotz Institute. The children would study here normally. I remember now, this was a lovely place. There was no sunlight, but it was always lively here. The children were all of different dimension, dimensions. So then, as different as the two of you, but here, they would study together, listen to the tales of the Hydro Arco, and to, and to tales older still, dimensions. I mean, that some children were very small, and some were somewhat larger. Ah, okay. Hey, now, Pamela may be small, but she's gonna be hard. Anyway, uh, what about the princess? Was she a child too? Would the children hear stories of her? I don't know. Mm. Why does Pamela get the feeling that the stories 
started drifting away from the princess ever since we teleported here. No, this place must have something to do with her. We must be able to find her at the end of this road. She will be happy to see us. Well, you're the local, I won't trust you. Well, I was and not supposed to have ever been here, I thought. All of them used to come to the castle. The one prisoners to be waiting for us at the end of the line. Huh? Oh. You hear the sound of a bell. There's a sound of the bell. Does that mean the adventure is coming to a close and prisoners? Uh, I don't think the best thing forward. Let's check what is that charge chest first. Take it what and have fun. Chest? A pattern. New pattern accessory. Hmm. Where is it? Uh, sometimes this feather has the power to advance the star forward and bring it to an end. Its appearance itself represents a power that transcends the story. Old yet well preserved, it must have been cherished by many people. Oh, I want to put the in treasure chest. They very close. Oh. I'm just kind of dizzy. There's so many books here. Come on, she gets this just by looking at the books. Is this a library? Is this a bookstore? The Javu, perhaps? Oh, they're getting. doing back to the beginning. Uh, you know, I thought. Paimon thought that she hadn't fully woke up yet, but having these things happened before. There'll be another adventure, and another, and another one after that. Uh. So, even though the prince is waiting for us at the end of this world, it's just a bunch of connected loops with no real end. On the other hand... Oh, there's another thing there. We'll be able to live as long as we find the end of this, the world. Uh, do you have an idea, I guess? And thoughts and... Let's go over what we know first, then. Any thoughts? I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't know anything about what happened after this. Uh, then let's take stock, take stock real quick. Have you noticed anything, Paimon? Uh, you asking Paimon? Uh, hold on a moment. First, the paths here have been connected such that they form a ring, right? In the case, there there be no getting out. Except that we were able to get on this path, so there should be a way off them. There has to be a point from which we can break through. Next, we saw the super powerful sword or something. It has the holy blade of the artisan cross. It should be a key item in some way. And why do you think that? Well, it looks like a wooden sword, but it was inside a protective barrier. Would all that trouble be necessary if it was important? So, Paimon thinks that we need to get a sword. Was there any other notable thing? Paimo can think of anything at the moment. But I said this test sticks out like a sort of doesn't it? I'm just... Paimo didn't just make that one up, by the way. When we passed this way before, it did feel weird how this cell is not connected to the others. And how it has a different pattern. It could be a trap. That's what I was thinking about as well. Good work, Paimon. Wait, why are you praising Paimon so seriously all of a sudden? Paimon's not used to this. But you really do have an impressive mind, Paimon. As for me, my head is a mess. I can't get my thoughts straight. Don't beat yourself up so much. You're being assaulted by strange memories in this place. Anyway, let's think how we can get out of this loop based on the stuff we've thought of earlier. Come on, I noticed I returned here, but there were other dungeons like that. I just had to take a different path afterwards. Just because they started the dialogue again that it, it prompted the deja vu stuff.
Strangely fair was what? Jabberwocks. Holy surge. Ah, uh, okay. Now we can see better that it's wood. Finding a garden, the holy blade under seas and crowds. I always heard that bears a special meaning in a certain story. Uh, what's this? Oh, it just... Should we go back there? Oh, there's no one there, no? Nip that in the butt. Coming through. Upon the gale. You dare to gaze upon me? Fine, fine, fine. <laughs> Can't see? Take it and have fun. Whoa. Shoot me. Okay. It's only exactly like this happened before, but more because there was a chest. No, there isn't. This wasn't here. Huh. I'm just gonna this. There's so many books here. Someone wants to stay for an adventure to never end. No, hang on. Let's let's go for the loop again because things change. It's this library. I mean, is Spamo has a fully wake up head? Is it deja vu? Okay. Yeah, I played this the other day, so I didn't remember. They started with this. Mm. Yeah, but don't know the way they are talking here. It seems like it is at least their second time here. Don't notice anything, Paimo. Skip Paimo for a moment. Of course, as if we connect such a way from a ring. Yeah, they probably need a six. They just started. Yeah, just started that thing. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. I can use the sword here. Oh, yeah, I thought the path was the same. There was just new enemies. It wasn't. There wasn't really anything new around. After the surge, yeah, it's taking already. Jumpy, jumpy, go!
I hear everything. Uh. Service with a smile. Scratch that. The wind rises. This chest here. Yeah, but it doesn't really have plenty of items, but none too hard to get anywhere else. Yeah, there are three now. Uh, but there must be a limit. Someone wants this day of adventures never end. What are you all about? Uh, you know what? I thought that she hasn't fully woke up yet, but it's seen her before. But the future of a story that constantly repeats will never end. Never, will never come. But we must keep moving forward. Yes. Resilience waits at the end of this path. Oh, Pamela knows. Last time we were here, you said, on the other hand, we'll be able to live as long as we find the end of the world, didn't you? Mm, there must be a way. Quit following me. Huh. Uh, keep moving ahead. Slow. Okay, just mm. <laughs> too slow. I don't know the way Pam said before. It was like if there was a place to we could come in. Uh. So that must fury. have a way we can leave. <laughs> mm. There was another place with that same floor. Maybe I can try to interact there. Ah, oh, things are killed already. I thought here would open new paths. Quit following. Ja. Huh. Huh. And there is another quality as well. Huh. Ja. Here, no, it's not exactly the same. Wasn't anything to fight now. Hey, we're missing one now.
damage. I, I think I don't know what to do. Yeah, I've seen it happen in this before. Memory calls on one's chest. Kind of dizzy. So, mom wants the station of her age. But we must keep moving forward. Oh. Let's try to move backwards. Huh. Is that it? Ah! Just before that, that was not enough time to read that before it appeared in my hand. What I don't know if that was the last word. It's holy blade finally, the blade is ours. That's super easy. Ah. Doesn't look like much, but once its powers are awakened, it will become a destructive and uh, invisible weapon. How is it in English? Can you feel its power? Oh, limited power. This really is just a wooden stone. Limited power. Oh. Comes not from this blade. <laughs> uh, come on, you have time going there. Uh, come to think of it, and you did mention that the holy blade was originally a wooden sword that the kids played with. That's right, when the young heroes from Narcissus and Kurat's adventure team would pick this sword up, they would become able to defeat all foes in their tail. Well, let's just take the sword, shall we? Who knows, it might come in handy later. And if not, we can take this, take it as a souvenir. Yeah, that's what it's going to be. Yeah, actually, I think I'll prefer to place that in my home instead of... Am I supposed to go back through here? No. If that's the right the path I have to take, I'm taking the other one. Just see if there is another chest or something. Yeah, I think I'll purchase put that in my home on the wall instead of just be my inventory not being used. Unless it is actually good. Ah. I thought this wouldn't be here. Is this just a teleport back to the beginning now? Yeah. <laughs> Too slow. Yeah, why do you have to do that instead of just using the sword here before or something? It is a game. Uh, looks like the path leads downward, it's rather than forward. Mm, this is a really long descent. It's so creepy. Don't worry, and it is really reliable and really good. Really good of the wing glider. They both float. Now, Pamela knows you're worried about what might come afterwards, right? Well, don't be. A real adventure is not only filled with challenges, but also with unknowns. The 
most important thing is to come back from completing those challenges and announce in one piece and gain something in the end as well, is that right? If you come this far, it would be a shame to give up now. You did say that Prince Lyris would be just up ahead. True. I believe in you, and Ignos, and in Paimon. You are wise and powerf powerful, and you are also kind people. In Ding Ding Ding, we have a winner. In that case, let's go. And the Astra Absosk, as Katarini always says. This is the room with two. This is the room with three. Uh, it's this is the new one. Uh, okay, now it's progress. I think I'm gonna fight it out. Nothing in here. Uh, Paimon feels like something should happen right about now. Uh, I'm feel uneasy too. And I've been frightened ever since we came down here. No need to worry. It will protect us no matter what, right? Uh, uh, hey, come on. We've been in dragons. You uh, have some more faith in yourself. Uh, yes, I believe in the two of you. I just don't know what we'll encounter later. We'll take anything as it comes. Still, best be prepared. We may be in for a battle with their seasons for all we know. Uh, let's take Tarnari off. Mm, shield or heal? Shield. Sure. You hit the dragon. Dragon, they name their scissors. Ah, I expected it to be a bit different. It was so long. Jumpy, jumpy, go! Stabilize! Oh, I actually fight you. They're not like. Know your place. I will have order. Solidify. Jumpy, 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 coming through. Do you mean Narcissus in here? Oh yeah, it was supposed to be away. <laughs> According to what you said before, the tower lost its time and thus stagnated. As such, no one could open it or enter it. But this space is not within the tower. No? We teleport to a different place from the tower. Okay. Uh, that's right, but we forgot that that happened. But if that's the case, then the princess won't be here. But how? No, that can be true. The princess should be in the tower. I mean, that was the adventure team's only hope in this dark world. If she isn't, our adventures, their meaning, 
all Petit Cho and the others. And but we did take out the biggest threat to the kingdom, did we? That's a good thing, right? Yes, you're right, Paimon. Thank you. Thank you both. Anyway, this story is not over. Yep, look over there. There's a place we haven't been before. We haven't been to before. Maybe we'll find more clues there. Huh? Take it and have fun. Oh, hang on. Where am I? Another source here stands to reason that it's gonna be some clues, right? Yes, but who knows how long they have to look for it all. Damn, is there a right one? Age research. Uh, according to the ancient theater, a mysterious research hidden here. We believe that documents and folklore are discovered within Petrichore. Patrick, Patrick Cor. I'm not sure. I think it's Patrick Cor. Um, the research team from Institute of Natural Philosophy holds that. Okay, it's just random stuff. It didn't Quit following really me. point to anything. The duty will be taken up to Basil Elton, former naval commander. May her is. Steely temper be self tempered by the family she will establish with these children going forward. What's that idiot thinking? Well, whatever, might as well have some fun post retirement. One serving of flour, one of sugar, one of melted butter, two of eggs, a large amount of milk with which to make foam. Are you kidding me? What's ex what exactly is a large amount? One serving of flour, one of sugar, one of melted butter, two servings of eggs. That doesn't mean two eggs, it means two servings of eggs. Is that the same amount? Remember it well this time 50 minutes at 180 degrees is not the same as five <laughs> 540 okay uh linking up with ingo ingo guillotine and the rest of the old gang will go some way towards solving the dispersion problem the situation is no place for personal feelings but what person can lack them completely? I can only hope that they aren't treating my dear old Sponsion too poorly or let it rust in the harbor. Uh, Sponsion is a boat? And I hope my skills haven't rusted away either. I hope all goes well. I still want to watch the Dora rise to the sun of of play outside the window. I still want to watch them grow into fine adult adults. This to incorporate the Institute for Raising Orphans and the Children of Criminals into the public welfare system. Considering the ruins of a previous civilization upon which it is situated, it shall be named. The seat of director was established in honor of the Hydro Archon's great virtue, and has been taken on by the gen by gentle nature also need. The title of vice director is to be taken up by one who displays exceptional moral quality and ability. It does seem to be. Is anything relevant? Let's look over there instead, shall we? There's a book here too. A picture book, huh? It's a two Paimon. Well, that's because Paimon's unique sensibility, you know? Picture books just speak to her better. 
This book, this book gives me a strange feeling. Let Paimon see. A long, long time ago, in a place far, far away, there was once a beautiful and kind princess named Lyris. And yep, she's our main character. I don't want this name. Uh, that's not what you said before. Do, do you want to read it too? And in that case, Paimon's gonna continue. Um... Oh, come on, it's just a story. There's no need to be so fussy. Anyway, a protagonist needs, to, needs an antagonist. An evil one at that. And our evil antagonist? Well, that's the dragon Narcissus. So evil is he that the peace-loving people tremble at the sound of his name. Not that he cares about their feelings, though. He sold destruction across the land with the searing flames he spewed from his mouth. Uh, his great wings turned cities to dust and his burning breath reduced nations to ash. At last, only the princess's realm will remain safe. But because the princess worked tirelessly to defend her realm, Narcissus' plot to destroy everything could not succeed. So, in Narcissus' story, I'm the evil feeling. This is kind of weird. This turned like storybook, but it also feels like it isn't. It's, you've got a bigger brain here. Uh, you have a look though, too. Read carefully. Oh. Uh, what? Ah, I thought I would flip the pages. What is this place? Is this the Rio Anapolsus? That's pretty. Ah, that was kind of harsh. Okay, I think I can continue to this one. Uh, uh, just like... In the book, Canotilla found. Uh, who was Canotilla? I don't remember. Yeah, and that's really odd. Ah, oh, yeah, no. No, it wasn't Canotilla, was it? The name of the. Uh, Melusine was. Yeah, that's really odd. Paimon wants to say that the book's contents were really weird, but it's really. Not much when compared to this, is it? The world should be like this, not like how it is outside. Children should be able to play under the sun and in the grass without fear of hindrance or harm. This place does feel pretty comfy, yeah? My mom feels way better than she did back when we were adventuring through the kingdom. There was no sunlight there at all. Uh, is that how it is? What mysterious Mystery follows another. Never mind that. This place really is nice. Uh, it's gotta be Princess Lyris' garden, right? Saying us when our adventures are over, why don't we find a place like this to live? We have like four of those. We can eat tasty fruits, plant lots of sweet flowers, and we can invite our friends over as guests. Yeah, we can do that. We could all live together happily. What do you say? Yeah, sure. Let's put a pin in that for now. Yeah, that's true. We gotta help uh, and find the princess first, don't we? Hide and seek, hide and seek. Where did Mary and her friends go? Oh, sounds like someone's singing over there. <laughs> Let's have. Oh, it has its own map.
ruin rises. So she's an ocean too. Uh, hiding sick, hiding sick. Where did Mary and her friends go? To to a great sea without borders, to the place from which all lives flow. Hey there. Good. She doesn't really look like a normal NPC. Hi. I'm sorry. I was just preparing some tea and didn't notice you. Come sit, snacks will be ready soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, snacks. Yes, and ours are very good. Should we recognize her as the princess? I think she's like the statue we saw. Um, but I must say this first, we can only start once the bell rings. It would be quite rude to be to do otherwise. Well, where are you from, by the way? Why, you are a fascinating combination, aren't you? A handsome young man, a small little Ossanid, and your beautiful floating friend. Um, Paimon's Paimon, in his Ignus. Introduce Zen. Uh, is it just Paimon, or does Zen look unhappy? She might have been reminded of something. Uh, and this Osanin is our friend, and Oh my, fine name indeed. In that case, please call me Mary Ann. Mary Ann? Oh, uh, she's the one that died long ago, isn't she? I don't know, but I'm sure you've heard this name before. My, what a pleasant surprise. It has been a long time since I met someone from outside. Where are you from? Uh, we are... Actually, I was not sure either. We defeated the fell dragon Narcissus and then we ended up here somehow. This doesn't have anything to do with where we are from. The fell dragon Narcissus, you say? That must have been a frightening foe. Mm, do you think so? In a matter of speaking, I suppose? Not really. I, I've heard that Narcissus was hurt many, has hurt many, and has turned many kingdoms to ash. Defeating him was an impressive feat indeed. Oh, so you know about him too? Great. We are from the Narcissian Cross Kingdom, and we are looking for Princess Lyris. Do you know where we might find her? Princess Lyris, you say? I'm a I do not know, but she should be here. Is that the case, Anne? But I have lived here for a long, long time, and yet I have never seen any princess. Perhaps she may be somewhere else. Is that so? But before I came here, we had a book about that princess and how she's beautiful and kind and stuff. I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar with any such person. On the flip side, you and us do, do quite look like a prince from a distant land. He just stays quiet. There's there's a chance he may be, we don't know. You hear the sound of a bell? Mm. Is that the bell? Yes, that's a sign signal for tea time. Uh, in the past, the children would throw down their wooden swords at the moment that they heard the smell, and they would come into the hall to have snacks. They're not here now, but I think it's be it best to follow the rules all the same. They'd be quite disappointed otherwise, I suspect. Well then, shall we? Don't mind if I do, thanks, but I'm not hungry. No, don't mind if I do. Hooray, snacks! Even if I might enjoy the snacks together, they look very beautiful, but they are tasteless, like pure water. How were they? They were, well, they were great, although Paimon couldn't really taste them. 
Are you on low sugar diet or something, Marianne? Mm, my apologies, Paimon. I just made them as I remember them, so I'm not sure if they'll taste all that good. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, at least Paimon's full now. In that case, let me take you all out on a stroll. This is a flower garden that we've painstakingly taken care of. Lovely, isn't it? I heard Basil say that caring for children is like caring for a flower. You need good soil, sufficient sunlight, frequent watering, and you can't let them grow however they want. Uh, it sounds like this Basil is pretty smart. In fact, we must get rid of pests from time to time as well. Uh, actually, <laughs> Basil sounds pretty dangerous too. Uh, she is very capable indeed, making snacks, caring for flowers, she can do it all. It would be nice if I could introduce her to you. I have been caring for the flowers here all this time, in the hopes that some friends may come, and I might show them how they have bloomed. And well, here you are. Well, it's a shame that they aren't bloom right now, though. Well, we just need to water them, and they'll be fine. Hide and seek, hide and seek, where did Mary and her friends go? To the house of Seaborn Fall to watch the sunflowers in bloom. As drops of water stain the soil of the garden black, the sunflowers spring from the earth, grow quickly and bloom. Aren't they beautiful? Uh, that was quick. Uh, they've been waiting for friends to arrive after all. If you for our arrival, uh, they were so excited. All they needed then was a little encouragement, a little rain to get them going. Uh, so that's how it is. Nature really is amazing, huh? I suspect this exceeds the realm of amazing. Nature really is amazing. I do like them and they're very beautiful, like gleaming gold. I knew you would. I love them too, after all. You're from a very, very far place, aren't you, Igles? What sort of flowers bloom there? Describe the flowers your sister wears in her hair. Uh, but th those, this flower isn't from their place of origin, is she, it? I'm uh, pretty sure it's in the thing in the, the store in the chasm. It says that it's the flower she's been wearing since they came to this land. Uh, those do sound like lovely flowers, but I fear that they'll be hard to find now. Yes. Then let us speak of other flowers. I've been... Yeah. Well... The Melusine did say that he's a drag he's like a monster that could eat the whole world. Did they their original world got destroyed? That's why it's hard to find those flowers now. Then let us speak of the of other flowers. I've always been in Fontaine and I've never gotten elsewhere. That said, a friend of mine has been to Sumeru. I heard from him that there are many flowers that that can be found here. Those that grow on cliffs, ones that only open at night, some even grow on cacti. No, those those are fruits, aren't they? Uh, and that's when he realized that there were no cacti in Fontaine, and he had to give me a separate explanation. <laughs> he was always the serious sort, and he was the smartest of us when we were young. Uh, I'm sorry for talking to myself. It must be a little too exciting for me. 
making new friends like this. Well then, Paimon, have you seen any special flowers? Mm, monsters than the lions come to mind. Then the lions. Oh, do you have any of their delightful seeds with you? Uh, well, it might. Then the lions, then the lions. Bloom, bloom, bloom. Then the lions seeds can indeed be found on Paimon. Mary Ann happily plants them on, in the soil. Uh, yes. What sort of flower is a dandelion? Uh, Paimon thought you knew. Well, uh, how should we put this? The dandelion flower is made of many tiny white flowers. And these white flowers have seeds on them. When the wind blows, these tiny flowers will scatter along with the wind. And they will take root and sprout elsewhere, eventually making new flowers. Cool, huh? Wow, they really are. I didn't know such a flower existed, but I had never heard but I have heard about something similar. Uh, what sort of flower is that? It's not a flower, but it's a story about water. In a certain place, there was a peaceful body of water. Later, with disturbance, there came ripples, and droplets appeared in those ripples. Droplets that had life in them. This life left the water and turned in different forms. But though they were all made of water, gulfs opened between them due to these differences. Each drop of life was very weak, but each was beautiful in its own way. The dandelions you spoke of, Paimon, reminded me a lot of that story. A flower that was once united as one would be separated, would bloom and each piece will become itself. But a single drop of water is weak and will dry up easily. Together they will be strong, and yet they will no longer be themselves. Is that how it is with the lions too? Do you think that's a good thing? Mm, Paimon doesn't really get it. What do you think, Angus? They may be weak, but the distance is necessary. It might not be a bad thing for them to unite. People can unite yet maintain their personhood. Can they really? Mm, I think that I understand where you're coming from. We're talking about sounds uh, like sounds like what happened to Alpet Cho and the others. To help us, they melted into one, turning into a big the big bubble. Yes, I still remember. Well, it may be meaningless to say this now. Let's have a little walk again, shall we? And yes, I can take you to our dog. I walked around, I did see a dog. Also, oh, we got a dog, Marianne. Yes, he's a silly dog who always accompany me. How does he see him though? Who come when it's any time? Since you're my guest, uh, what? Eat? Eat what? Water? Ah, doggy. Noble sir, <laughs> it is an honor to receive food from you. A pleasure to see you again as well, Miss Marianne. What a polite dog. Oh, you good doggy. Uh, good doggy. And how do you do, dear little miss? Well, uh, thanks for being polite and all, but, and, what's going on? I don't know, but this can't be Mori. He has always kept me company. And does this mean that we're, we've been wrong all along about what dogs really look like? Hard to say, I doubt it. Don't fuss over the details so much. Where can take any shape, and life can choose what form it must take. This, however, has nothing to do with its essence, and that is a different matter. Uh, didn't I say something similar, weir similarly weird? I have heard something similar said that the body is a prison that restricts evolution. That 
person was a a child like all, all the others. We many others heard him tell many stories how about how all life was originally formless, like water, and how there was no there were no barriers between souls, thus allowing them to compose an endless story. Okay, I think this has to do with people Fontaine being able to dissolve water and stuff. Uh, many have forsaken their bodies, for if water can be withdrawn from blood, so too can will be drawn out from one's form. But if you were to try to sprinkle water on the blackened dust that remains, you will not become blood again. And I remember something, even though I really didn't want to. Uh, how much do you remember, Anne? I don't know. There's just this flood of feelings and scenes. Happy words and angry ones. I'm not sure. I understand. Uh, you go first, alright? And remember, be a good dog. I understood. See you, Miss Marianne. See you, dear guests. Oh, this is bad. The number of things that don't make sense just keeps going up. If we hadn't seen the dog, Paimo would have forgotten all that stuff already. Didn't we say we were going to rescue Princess Lyris? That's right. My apologies, but there is no princess here. Only us. Today, we were simply fortunate to receive guests. But this is the end of the path. She has to be here. But Marianne said... Uh, so... That's gotta mean that one of you is mistaken, right? Right? Uh, do you really want to hear what I have to say? Of course, you've got the bigger brain here, don't you? What if I just take quiet? By Moon, we... Well, uh, all we experienced so far was just a story. Wait, but did we team up with the Narcissus and Cross's Ranger team to defeat Narcissus' henchmen? Wasn't that real? Think about it for a moment, Paimon. Is there even a Narcissus and Cross kingdom among this, the seven nations? I don't know, I thought it was a fallen kingdom from the past. Oh, you're right, Paimon didn't think of that. So, the Ranger team all petty choke. Colonel Kate, Jack, Mori, the two of us in our adventures, they're all just characters in a story. I thought it was like Fallen Kingdom, the place for Oceanids or something. Mm, no, that can be. Paimon can accept that. Didn't we encounter all kinds of stuff after going through the portal in the tower? There's a lot of stuff there that wouldn't fit if it was just a story. You know, like how there was no holy blade mentioned at the start, and how a sealed tower still had monsters and bubble formations inside it. Paimon, I think I understand what they started to say. So, all the things that happened after we ascended the tower are things outside the realm of the story, is that right? More correctly, those parts of the story have not yet been written. So, the holy blade, Narcissus, this were still inside the story. It's just that they have not been arranged correctly yet. Uh, Paimon still finds it hard to imagine anyone who would create such a huge building just for a story. I believe the structure already existed. It was just used as the setting for the story. So that means that the things I recall along the way were things that happened here before and I'm just a character in the story, or not merely a character. The fact that you can think about this means that you can remember it. But if that's the case, who is Anne? I am. I must rescue Princess Lyris. 
Uh, all right, things. And there's end. Our time is up. I enjoyed our time together, but I'm afraid it is time for you to leave. Why do you have to say it was fiction if you already knew? Spare a thought for its feelings at least. Hmm? Well, she could force us out of the space. Your vision blurs and you suddenly feel weight. Ah, oh, come on! Like... There were like five of those recently and I could click on all of them. And now it just auto skips. What happened? But shh, there's no need to say anything, and I once heard my best friend tell a story about a beautiful princess trapped in a high tower. Before you arrived, I had a dream. I dreamed that I was a small, brave Ocenid, and we set out to save the princess. And perhaps there were there are princesses in this world, in dragons too. But I also know that the world's affairs are rarely this simple. Why would a dragon be concerned with a princess after all? After waking up, I would find this dream laughable, yet nostalgic. Every time I thought about it, do you remember now, Anne? No, there has to be some other way. If I can't save Princess Lyris, then what of my birth? My only wish... Uh, do they have no meaning? Don't say that, Anne. Your birth was a beautiful accident. As things stand, I can only wish for you to live on for your own sake. Go see the world and see how it has changed these past years. I wish for you to have your own soul, memories, personality and wishes. I wish for you to be the master of your own fate and to experience all the beauty of the real world. Can you do that for me? It was a pleasure to meet you, Ignis Paimo, and it was my pleasure to meet you too, And But the anapausis is our tone. I do not wish for you to linger here. Mary Anne, why are you saying that? We can find a way to help you, can't we? Uh, I sense that you are good-hearted and powerful indeed. Thank you, Paimo Ignis. I'm just concerned... I'm just someone who sometimes enjoys dreaming of lovely adventures and wonderful futures. But I know what happened in the past. I already know that there's no going back. In the real world, everything has already ended. So, this is farewell. Oh. What about all the other Ocenids here? The water constructs. Shouldn't. Didn't they have their own personalities and feelings? And. I'm sorry, the Inus Paimo. I had already started to feel that some things were off earlier in the adventure, as it led me off the story's track. I started to understand and recall some things. But I still want to rescue Princess Lyris. That is the reason for which I was born. I want to save her and bring this story to a happy end. I mean, I don't even know who she is. I only know that she is a gentle, lovely princess trapped due to Narcissus' invasion. Don't worry, Anne. At least, at least you have fun while traveling with the adventure team, right? Magnus, did you know that things would turn out like Turn out this way. No, I thought we could help Anne. Oh. Well, if that's the case, we can still help Anne. Hmm? 
I wanted to understand anything Marianne said there at the end, did you? And I did, sort of. I could sense that she was speaking of something terrible that happened in the past. Well, Paimon feels that that's unfair, not just to you and, but to us too. Uh, that's why we've gotta find out what happened at least. If we do, we can come up with some sort of plan. Whether it be saving the princess or figuring out what Marianne said, or whatever, we just wanna help you in, isn't it right? This story isn't over. Okay. Still, if this is all just story, then there's one thing Paimon doesn't get. What role do we play? I can be sure, but I think we're most likely undefined factors. An accident. And that's why we can bring this story to an end. Ah, Paimon gets it. So that's why Anne found us and brought us to the into the story. You might not have thought about it, Anne, but since we've been able to knock this story off, of course, that means we've opened all sorts of unknown possibilities. Isn't that right? You could say that. Thank you, Knight Inus. Thank you, Paimon. That's why we also need your help, and since and since we need to continue our adventure, well, you don't think of anything that could help us figure out what to do next? Let me think. My memories contain a place known as the Narcissan Cross Ordo. This place appears to have very deep connections to past events. That's true. Narcissan Cross Kingdom, Adventure Team. Yeah, they seem connected, alright. Do you have any idea where this Ordo might be? No. Uh, that's right, we are very experienced adventurers. Uh, if need, if need found, if found, we'll find it. Hey, Wonderland. Oh, take it and have fun. Solidify. No, I don't think this would be. Behold. One more time. The wind rises. Nah. Oh, but we're continuing, I swear. Oh. Could I just keep swimming through that? Oh. Ah, uh, no. It just teleports me. I didn't interact with that now. Okay, it was just to make uh, a long tunnel shorter. <laughs> Too slow. Hmm, I activated that. Was this game here before? Ah. But do I have something else about the quest? No, the quest. No, the quest. No. Okay. But this has to do with the other one, with Seymour and all. Uh, I don't remember the name they said again, but let me just check. I don't think that was the name of the Melusine was. Uh, okay. Can you Okay, yeah, it was. I thought it was different. Well, 
I want to gather all pages and do this in one go. Uh, so, I don't know. I'll need to find that place before I do anything else. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna end here. Wow, a bandage. Right, There's no I'm such out. thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow.